Hello friends, welcome back and today in this video we are going to look at Metasploitable Linux Metasploitable Linux 2 specifically so this is an operating system that's Linux based and it's specifically developed to be hacked you got it right ladies and gentlemen it's developed to be hacked it's a um, kind of workspace operating system that you can be using to test your hacking skills and without any kind of legal troubles or issue. Please note that this video is strictly for educational purposes only. We do not encourage any of you to do this in the real world scenario. This is strictly prohibited in the world of uh, reality that you see you in the world. You know, like you cannot hack anyone in the real world like when you go to a coffee shop you cannot hack anyone when you go to your family you cannot even hack them you've got to take their permission and if they grant you the permission you can do it so in this case we've got the metasploitable 2 to be hacked so we do not need anyone's permission to hack it because it's our own device it's our own virtual machine we can run it anytime we can delete it anytime we can do whatever we want with it so it's our own device the privacy is ours so let us see how we can install it and later on in the next video I'll show you how you can hack it as well first open up any kind of you know web browser to get that thing when I'm opening up chromium and next you can open up a new tab and type metasploitable download now I have VMware, it's called, you know, VMware Player 16, probably, or maybe 17, let me see. I have VMware download as well, we need this to be emulating the virtual machine. Now, this is the top one, now, if you go like this, it'll take a lot of time, so time, type VMware download, works on 16, and, okay. So not 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 pro. Sorry, it's not pro. Uh, down one and you can scroll down and try VMware Player 17 for Linux. So I told you it was probably 17 and it's the updated. If you are on like normal OS like Windows and Linux, you can get that. And if you are on Mac OS, you can download VMware Fusion, and if you are on Arch Linux like me, what you can do is VMware Workstation AUR, VMware Workstation AUR, that will give you the Arch Linux user repository VMware, and from here under sources, you can download the bundle file and give the permissions and at last you can use the bash command to run the file and finally when you compile all the modules you will be getting VMware running in your computer like I am like this see this it's VMware and we've got Metasploitable Linux 2 um, I've already got this running but let me you know, show you how we can do it probably in a better way just remove it from the library there we go and after that download and you have to add something more for VMware that's it source fours and you do this dragging and dropping dragging and dropping and dragging and dropping you can click on the download button and the download will most likely start and you can get the thing up and running but Right now, see this? I downloaded this from World Hub. Yeah, you can still download it from here. It'll take a bit of time, but no, that's not as long as compared to the source fours. I'll give this link for VMware. Sorry, not this. Yeah, this one for VMware down below. And if you want to download it, you can use it from there as well. Now, now that we've got everything downloaded, we don't need any kind of web browser. We can extract this. As we can see, I've already extracted this and pasted here in the main folder, probably here. Yeah, this one. So inside of this, we've got a folder called Metasploitable to Linux. Click on this, and there we go. We've got Linux. So you can minimize this and open up VMware Workstation Player. Okay, here we go, and 
you can type open up a virtual machine you don't even have to create a new one you can go to home and select this select this and finally dot vmx enter okay you see this yeah this is what we want click on power on okay and it's restoring the virtual machine state and okay it's asking me the permissions so I'll give it in okay so when you open it for the first time you will see a screen like this and at the Metasploitable uh, login what you've got to type is msf admin in msf admin and the password would be msf admin as well msf admin in admin and we are in clear ls cd to vulnerable ls pwd we are in Metasploitable now you can see our IF config IP address it's 192.168.82.128 you can use it in a uh, graphical way from the web browser as well let me say to you or you could do something like 192 and this is it metasploitable to linux let me open up anything like twiki readme.txt whatever is there and dvwa there's the username and password lots of things going on so we've got the operating system running and you don't have to give it RAM more than um, like 5.512 MB, or it'll even run in 256, something like that. So it's not a resource de uh, demanding kind of operating system. It's you cannot even call it a operating system. It's really lightweight. It's it's even lightweight than your Google Chrome, so you can run it on any kind of you know crap PC. It's not a big deal. See this under a fist if I run S top nothing 1.50 oh. and with simple screen recorder to her file manager Chrome VMware interval. If I close Chromium, it'll even decrease down and down and down. See this 1.2 gig 1.27. If I close the file manager it'll even decrease down if I close the screen recorder it'll decrease to probably one gig and that's not too much it so it's 512 but it doesn't even use that much so that's it for the video if you like it sub to the channel would be great and even if you don't like it please tell me what you don't like about the video or what you don't like about my presentation in the comments down below till then Take care and goodbye. I'll see you in the next one.